Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal Family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day Halal Family is the best family out on YouTube uh, Today's video guys will be reacting to some strange Indonesian desserts This video was suggested by Dito Rosso Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion As well as always showing love uh, to the channel and uh, supporting it So thank you very much Stay tuned guys We'll be right back with the video back guys we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video inshallah i'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end with that said we're gonna get started with our video what is this one wafer stick oh, it's a wafer stick yeah and do you ever use it like a little strong mm. it, it works, works. <laughs> <laughs> today we're going on another fun food adventure here in jakarta indonesia trying some famous exotic fruits and desserts do you want to come too? Yes, I want to do it. Today we're in Jakarta, where they have an infinite number of ways to indulge your sweet tooth. Green bean? I've never had a sweet green bean. That's awesome. Coming in all shapes, sizes, and even smells. Durian is like your friend that smells, but he has a really good personality, so you never really say anything. From giant spiky fruits. Jackfruit get way the F bigger than this. To desserts with hard to swallow names. I'm told this is called grandma's hair. And even a late night stoner's dream, where they've tossed in just about every Everything you can imagine. A piece of bread, a single Oreo, cheese, tons of condensed milk. This is nutso. So get ready for a sugar rush, because we're checking out the sweet side of Jakarta. Our hero's journey starts us out in Glado, or Jakarta's Chinatown, where I'm on a hunt for the most unique sweets we can find. Today we're doing an all-out dessert tour, but first we've come here, Pan Ros. Kelapa. They've combined rice, coconut, sugar, and coconut milk. Inside here, he's got a huge bucket of batter, and that batter is what's going on the griddle here. This one's been in there for a little bit. It's looking very lovely. Whoa, that was cool. Throw some sugar on top. Wow, that is an S load of sugar. How much is this? 5,000. 5,000. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Right here, we have this coconut rice cake, this sugar that's almost kind of melting into this gooiness on top. On the edges here, it is very crispy. I'm just gonna eat it like a taco. <laughs> oh, I'm yummy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're making friends already. That is so freaking delicious. This could be on the dessert menu at Taco Bell. It's salty, it's sugary. Inside it's just like gooey and tender and a little crispy on the outside. I'm gonna eat this whole thing, I can't stop. Mmm, I love it. Let's go find more desserts. We all know fruit is the original dessert, and that's what we used to eat to get our sweet fix until we learned how to make <laughs> Snickers pie. But here, we've got some giant jackfruit. This has gotta be 10 kilograms at least. He's just removed all this extra skin from on here. He's taking out the seed, let's try it out. Mm. This is one of my favorite fruits in Asia. It has a very melony taste. That's so yummy, thank you. I'm with my man, the palm fruit cutter. Rontar. Guys, obviously this is a rontar fruit, starting with these big ones. He breaks it down to this, then he cuts this one. He finds where the fruit is, and then he starts cutting around it. You must have a lot of mental clarity. Do you feel like you meditate a lot? So I've never had it fresh like this. It's like a little bar of soap. Here we go, palm fruit in Indonesia. Mmm, it is like a little gummy. It has a light melon taste, but not super sweet at all. On the inside, it's kind of hollow. There's a little pocket of juice in there. He sells them by the bag. Rapa. So it's a few bucks. Thank you, sir. Terima Okay. 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 We've come to the fried dessert section. Anyone yeah. who's vegetarian can eat here. They've got a simple batter, which is water and flour, and then the fruit. I love it. It looks very delicious. Here they have this fruit. She just calls it breadfruit, and it comes from this. So she cuts off a wedge and then fries it. Okay, I'm gonna try it right now. Mmm. It's very fibrous, but the texture is just like a mashed potato. I love it. It's so new, it's so interesting. We got the jackfruit fritter right here. It's still warm and steamy. I'm gonna rip a piece off. Oh, people watching, look at that juicy jackfruitiness. I can already smell the ripe sweetness coming from here. Let's try it out. Oh, I love this so much. Crunchy, mushy, sweet, it's so good. Thank you so much. Terima kasih. 
Guys, we've stumbled upon a new dessert. There's different combinations. What is your favorite? All in. All in? Yes. Let's do it. First, there's black rice. Oh, that looks kind of nice. It's very sticky. Sweet potato. This is one way we can get kids to eat vegetables. Cassava is a root barley. This is so fascinating. Sweet banana. And you're doing green bean too? I've never had a sweet green bean. That's awesome. <laughs> That is overflowing with unconventional sweetness. How much is this? 10,000. 10,000? That's so interesting to me that they have a sweetened green bean. Okay. It's definitely a green bean. Now we've got some banana, some barley, maybe some potato in there. Mmm. It's good. It is not nearly as sweet as you would think. It's just kind of mild, warm, some nice fun textures in there. Nothing too hard. Oh, good, baby. Wow, people here are so friendly. They critique your eating and your choices as they walk by. I'm gonna start doing that when I see people. Burger, good choice. Potato, <laughs> nice, good choice. Do you like it? I like it, see? He was like not weirded out at all. Everyone here is very friendly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, we're headed to M Block, where I'm hoping to chase down some mobile street food vendors. We've come to M Block, and here they're serving all kinds of different desserts on carts. Like, look at this guy. Is he security? Are you dessert security? This is called Chin Chow. I'm gonna order some of it. I've heard this is called a type of grass jelly. Grass jelly. He's getting that grass jelly. Now he's putting in some ice, and then they're putting up some kind of brown sugar syrup. I can't wait to try this out. Mmm, that's really yummy. So, do you like this one? Let's enjoy it together, why not? Yeah, that one's for you. I'll get some for me. Mmm, it's very good, it's very sweet. It's kind of like a creamy, sugary, milky drink with some jellies inside. Thank you. Boom. I'm told this is called Grandma's Hair that we've stumbled upon here on this street corner. He's gonna make one up for me. He's got this pink cracker, and then he puts on this kind of pinceled sugar that looks a lot like hair. Another cracker on top, then he closes it, and that's it. It's a very simple dessert sandwich. Honestly, it's a little disconcerting just seeing the hair particles, but as I feel it now, it does have that cotton candy texture. I think it's probably gonna melt in my mouth. Let me just try the hair only. Mm. It's a cotton candy sandwich, and then this really airy pink cracker on there. Let's try it out. <laughs> That's good. That's a cracker full of cotton candy goodness. Like the five-year-old inside of me is screaming with joy right now. It's around okay. a buck for four of these. I'm just getting one though. I'm on kind of a hair <laughs> diet lately. Right here we have a bowl of durian with the seed inside. It's been refrigerated and he's about to mix that with some sticky rice. Step one, sticky rice. I know what you're thinking. Sticky rice for dessert? It works 100%. And then here there's some coconut milk with some brown sugar and then a spoon. Ta-da, done. You've heard of the famous sticky rice with mango that they have in Thailand. Here it's very similar, but they've done it with these huge chunks of durian. We're gonna pluck off some of this durian from the seed. Durian is like your friend that smells, but he has a really good personality, so you never really say anything. This is a bite from heaven. Let's go. Oh, it's so good, I can't describe. It's sweet. It's sticky. There's something about the durian having this slightly astringent quality. It's like a little bit of sulfuriness to it. It's one of my favorite desserts I've ever had in Southeast Asia. Top five for sure. Our final dessert destination brings me to Sabang Market, where Jakarta native Rachel joins me in taking down the most unique blend of dessert ingredients that I have ever witnessed. This dessert is completely over the top. It is a ES soup durin. Durin is durian. Durin, yes. Mm, I'm pretty good at durin. the language here. Now, this is not so. Is this kind of a normal Indonesian thing? Kinda. For this warung, they just put everything in there. A piece of bread, a single Oreo, cheese. I love it. What is the purple? It's a dragon fruit. How do we mix in bread? Is the bread really for eating? Yes. Okay, I thought it was just for moral support. Bread. Let's go for it. Oh, wow. Wow. It's sweet and then it's very stinky. That's some nice durian. It kind of stings the nostrils a bit. We've got all kinds of textures in here. Jellies, durian, and tons of condensed milk. Mmm. This is a lot of sweet food in one night. <laughs> what is this one? Wafer stick. It's a wafer stick. Yep. And do you ever use it like a little straw? Mmm. 
<laughs> it works. <laughs> I love all the durian meat that she's put in here. No seeds, no messing no. around. It's all the flavors of Indonesia. Would you say that? Yeah. I just kind of made that up. That was nice, guys. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, coconut, which uh, even in the last video I said I love coconut. So most of those I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, enjoy. Uh, they all look good. Just maybe the only thing would be is the, the rice and beans and uh, durian maybe because I haven't tried durian and the rice and bean usually. I'm not used to having it as a sweet. Uh, but overall, the other ones look really, really interesting. And even he said, you know, for example, the people there are really friendly. So, mashallah, everybody agrees uh, that, you know, Indonesian uh, people of Indonesia are really, really f uh, friendly and kind. So, uh, that's apparent with everybody that uh, visits uh, Indonesia. So this was really nice, guys. I'm excited. Hopefully, inshallah, I get to try Indonesian uh, snacks and sweets uh, one day, which are filled with coconut. I just, I love coconut. So thank you for suggesting this video. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.